This is your BCC recap for January 24th, 2017. During a work session, Orange County Sheriff Jerry Demings provided the board with an overview of crime throughout Orange County, as well as a specific update on Pine Hills. In 2016, the overall crime rate in Orange County declined by 3% compared to the previous year. Pine Hills has more than 60,000 residents, and since 2012, the area has experienced a 67% increase in the homicide rate. A large majority of the homicide victims and suspects are under the age of 25, so a focus on youth in the area is a priority. The Sheriff's Office is implementing a four-pronged approach that includes prevention, prosecution, enforcement, and intervention. Orange County plans to work with the Sheriff's Office to help provide crime prevention strategies, including additional street lighting, security cameras, and removing abandoned and or condemned homes. The issue of state funding for conservation land was discussed with the board by staff. This issue was originally brought to Commissioner Emily Bonilla by the League of Women Voters. The League of Women Voters is requesting Orange County to make a resolution to request for $300 million in land purchases for conservation areas. Staff will work on additional language modifications that attempt to meet a consensus of the board concerns and the issue will be brought back at a future date. Located in East Orange County, the Wedgefield Community's water and sewer services are currently provided by private utility company Pluris Wedgefield Inc. The utility serves 1,800 customers in the community and a number of residents have expressed concerns with their water services. The Wedgefield Homeowners Association submitted a written request to the Board of County Commissioners to pursue county acquisition and operation of the utility system. Orange County Utilities Deputy Director Todd Swingle outlined potential options related to the Homeowners Association's request. There will be significant costs involved with any potential upgrades or the acquisition. In addition to the cost of acquisition, it's estimated that more than $20 million in costs would be associated with piping extensions and capital charges. The residents of the community would have to pass a municipal service benefit unit that would be billed to Wedgefield homeowners to help cover costs. The board gave direction to continue to survey homeowners regarding possible support for the change and then for further analysis. These have been the highlights for the Board of County Commissioners meeting on January 24, 2017. To view the entire meeting or individual agenda items, go to ocfl.net slash meetings.